What's going on YouTube? It is Pelfrey. This is the Red Sea Reaper 250. And I'm being quiet. And the tank is dimmed down because we've got some new additions in the tank. So let's take a look at those real quick. I did pick up some fish from Live Aquaria. And if you're new to buying anything saltwater related, livestock related, then you float the bags in the tank or the sump if you have one to temperature acclimate them. And the good thing about Live Aquaria is they do put uh, the fish in a dark bag, but I always turn the lights off to uh, not shock them anymore. Now the box that they sent me was 15 pounds and the two of the fish are very good size. So there was at least a gallon of water in each of those bags. So I actually floated three and then took those out and then floated, floated the fourth one just because I felt like that was a lot of bags to have floating in the top of the display but everyone arrived perfect and super early this morning which i'm grateful for and i put them in the um, the bucket to uh, match the salinity it came in at about 1.018 and i'm raising it to 1.025 so let's see if we can actually capture that's the ruby head there at the front of the tank and i've had one a couple of times um, for some odd reason they just haven't left or haven't worked out for me too well. And then next, right there in the middle, I'm probably going to butcher the name, but that is the Ornette Leopard Grass Expert Only. And uh, really the downfall to the Expert Only fish is they don't, uh, you don't get the same guarantee from Live Aquaria that you do with the other fish, but um, scurvy talked me into it, so I picked one up anyway. Um, very, very beautiful, beautiful fish. And then I also picked up a yellow fin flasher wrasse, and I don't know where he is at. I uh, saw him a little earlier, but haven't seen him out in about in a little while. There's an emerald crab, did not pick that up. But I did go ahead and order some more of the um, banded trochus snails, because those are my favorite snails uh, for multiple reasons. Uh, they do a great job, but also if they flip upside down, they are able to flip themselves upright again. So that's, that's an awesome thing to have because snails will flip over sometimes. <laughs> but this, this ruby head is actually a little bit smaller than some of the other ones I've got. And the flame hawk's not liking some of the new inhabitants. So hopefully the uh, new inhabitants can hold their own. And I'm trying to sneak up to the tank picking at the rocks and I did notice um, the glass is dirty but I did notice pods on the glass which obviously I did add pods in last week's video so um, they should be all over the tank by now but um, and I've also been adding the Fisher Hex Fido to the tank but man I'm loving there is nothing better than grass Rasses, watch your rasses. But as far as the corals are concerned, they are not opened up for the most part because I've had the lights either off or super, super dim all day long. And I just want to make the transition for the new fish as easy as possible. And uh, I'm probably going to get some comments here saying, you didn't quarantine the fish. I did not. Um, I brought them in, I temperature acclimated them, put them in a bucket, and then I got cups of water from the display, put, drop the uh, cup in the bucket every 15 minutes or so to raise the salinity. Um, they come in in a lower salinity and I wanted to raise them to 1.025, which is where my tank is. Just real quick looking down here. Um, talking to my, my reef um, professor, we decided that we were going to take Kalkwasser offline for now because the tank is at an alkalinity of nine, which a couple days ago it was 9.1, so it is dropping. The um, phosphates are at like 0.37 now. The nitrates are still on like a low range red sea test kit at like four. Salinity is 1.025, um, but with the low nutrients in the tank, we decided to take the Kalkwasser offline for now. I'm gonna let the alkalinity drop to like eight, and then I'm gonna reintroduce Kalkwasser to the tank. So I'm taking this opportunity to 
run vinegar and water through the dosing tubes and I stopped the pump here so you could see um, right at the tip of my middle finger there I'm not flipping anybody off don't worry but right at the tip of my middle finger is and to the left there is Kalkwasser so I'm gonna set the, t the uh, timer up on the dosing container doser up, up here the Camor X1 just to run its normal schedule and just clean out the pump head clean out all the tubing get all that gunk out it's a perfect opportunity and I've just taken the um, dosing tubes off the sump to hold the lines down that's gonna work out very well for me nothing changed in the sump area the uh, everything is everything down here so that's that's great but this is all all about fish and I can tell you what like I said earlier the the ras fish I mean I know that it's not coming up great on camera this guy let me turn on the aquarium cam app and record some video and see if I can get a better view of them all right, now we're in the aquarium cam app and it's auto adjusting, but I'm trying to follow him around, but he's beautiful, beautiful. Just out swimming about. There's the ruby head wrasse and yep. Flamehawk does not like the new addition. I didn't know Flamehawks were aggressive, but apparently any fish can be somewhat aggressive at some point but yeah like I said this is the aquarium cam app I paid three dollars for it it's worth it it's auto adjusting to the lights right now let's see beautiful fish beautiful little guy all right folks that's gonna be it for this video it's a little bit shorter uh, than most of my other videos but I'm not gonna ramble on anymore appreciate you following along as always be sure to check out the website be sure to follow me on Instagram because honestly, these videos are like six weeks behind what Instagram is. I just tend to uh, record a bunch of stuff, upload it in the, um, the appropriate order and then publish them as needed. So be sure to check out Instagram. Be sure to look up Devoted Reefer and check out the build thread on Reef to Reef. You can also go to there and find real time updates. But anyway, I'll catch you on the next one. Appreciate you following along. Have a great day.